Well, we've just seen the slow-mo of uh, Edith Skog, and it looks as though she caught her hand on the wrong side of the pole. It rotated her shoulders, threw her off balance, and that was the end of the race for her. So, huge disappointment, just a slight lack of concentration. We're now into the last ten. Erska Ulfat of Slovenia, one of the many top skiers coming back from injury. Do you think she can impress? Well, I think the light is actually getting better. The light is changing all the time, but there's a big mistake there just in front of the split. Now, that won't actually show up. What that will have done was actually cost her some speed. So now she's made the mistake, but 0.41 up at the split. Well, we'll get a second split before the finish, and uh, that may well confirm what you're saying. 0.41 was the margin. It's right down to 0.09. She's lost over three-tenths of a second, and uh, I don't see that she can pick the speed back up. Well, she's only 900 down, so I think it's going to be pretty neck and neck. Well, my money's on Kostelik on this occasion. <laughs> the laws of physics. Yes. And there it is. 0.27 is the end margin. Kostelik, who came down, started number 10 in this second run, having finished 21st after the first run. And with uh, 21 skiers now gone, she's still in the lead. Well, that was the mistake that cost Urvat her chance of taking the lead, but nonetheless, she's still up there with uh, the top five as we move to Birgit Heap of Liechtenstein. Birgit Heap, a very light skier. She doesn't have much power. She, gets, she makes her speed by being very clean, very good technique, but a little bit late in the line, just going onto the steep section there, and just struggling, just having to ski a later line on the gates, not setting up from behind, struggling all the way down that steep section there. That will definitely cost her time. Well, we could hear the skis rattling, and it would be interesting to know uh, how much time you lose because of that and the effect of the ruts that have been added to the course since the first runners came down. She had 0.33 at the last split, but not again, not very clean down this final steep section. The question is, how much speed she, can she carry in along the flat to the finish? And this is very good from Heap. The steep was very good. It's 0.52 up. This is going to be neck and neck. Kostelik was flying over this final section. Heap is challenging. Well, the first real threat we've seen to the Croatians' time. Kostelik still in the lead. The smile is about to go off her face. And 0.37, Birkit Heeb has had a tremendous run. And at last, Lichtenstein take the lead over. Oh, come on, Graham, puts uh, your neck on the chopping board. Who's it going to be from these final four? Or will Heeb survive the challenge? No, I reckon that Meisnitzer is strong enough and powerful enough to deal with the course. And I reckon my money is on Meisnitzer. Push you for a second and third as well. <laughs> well, I'd like Sonia Neff uh, to do well because she's such a friendly and chatty racer. But I think that uh, it's going to be down to power. I'm interested in skiing ability, Graham. I want to see who's who's going to take the top three. But Meissnitzer, it is we favour. He bleeding at the moment. Karen Collar are currently on course. And uh, the split, she's well ahead of that. A tremendous first section for Collera. Can she hold it out or will she fatigue over the lower sections? Oh, and gone, gone, inside ski. Classic mistake again, just on that very steep section and out. And that was a real shame because she was uh, on her way to set a personal best in giant slalom. Her form has really taken on this season, but look, you have to take the risk. She switches her edges and then just gets hit by a little bit, a little bump in the snow onto her hip and can't make it back. Luckily, the gates are, are, uh, are not fastened into the snow too hard, so she shouldn't have hurt herself too badly when she took on. And that'll break the, break the, start the timing when that uh, swings open. So, Martina Ertl, the wait is over. From Lengris, 0.86. There you see the margin she has over Birgit Heave, the current leader. So. Uh, you know, she has everything to lose, and she knows it. She knows the margin between herself and Heap. She will have heard the stories about the course on the second run, and she also knows that's a fair amount of luck with the visibility. It's been changing right throughout this race, and uh, Ertl has just got to hope and pray that she gets some of the better conditions. Well, confidence is everything in this game, and Martina Ertl isn't quite to the form that she, she expects of herself. And when she gets like that, she tends to get a red mist come down over her eyes and just give absolutely everything and attack almost too much into the course. 
Well, watch out for the first split, and it's 0.51, but the margin at the beginning was 0.86. So Ertl is losing to Heeb all the way down the course. At this rate, it is going to be even Stevens between the two of them. The second split is going to be everything. 2.02.27 is the time. More time has gone. Ertl's going to have to dig deep to hold on to this one. Just trying to let the skis run in towards the finish, carry the speed down towards the finish line. The quick changes. This is good for Martina Ertl. It's going to be neck and neck. 2.20.39. Yes! She's got it. What a tremendous comeback then by Ertl. She matches heap speed over the lower section on the flat part of the course. And that really is a very impressive run. He, well, it's a brave smile, but she'll be crying inside, desperately disappointed. But uh, she now has to hope that neither of the two remaining skiers can match her time. Sonia Neff is the first to go for Switzerland. 0.15, she was behind Meissnitzer after the first run, but uh, 0.95 of a second ahead of Heeb, so a fairly large margin, maybe and 10 to 15 yeah. metres ahead. Yeah, and struggling a little bit on this first steep section. When Neff gained her speed, was on the very steep, the middle section between these two splits, and again, a big mistake there, right onto the flat section, and that's a real bad disappointment for Neff. Bounced out of the course, that is a real shame. Well, just talk us through this mistake, Graham, if you could. Wait too far forward just as she goes in and buckles there. Just not quite the power there. You know how we were talking about uh, the strong, powerful skiers when the course gets bumpy and the, the technical skiers like Sonia Neff. Sonia Neff does it by pure technique. And when that gets bumpy, sometimes you need the power. I think it's difficult to appreciate how strong they have to be, not just in the legs, but in the abdominal region to sort of counteract all this, uh, the rotational forces that you suffer. And Sonia Neff uh, came off worse on that occasion. Sadly, she is out, but it leaves Martina Ertl of Germany in the lead here in Park City with Birgit Hieb of Liechtenstein in second place. One racer remaining, that of Alexandra Meissnitzer. Second in Solden. Can she go one better here today and certainly take the lead in the Women's World Cup? Look at her working a ski, really attacking. Meistensner, not brilliant on the steep sections of the course. She did exactly the same in Solden. She will make up time in that run in towards the finish. Aggressive and fights and really powerful. Thought we were going to lose the picture there, right in the most exciting part of the race, the split time. 145, 25. Watch it carefully. She's got to be inside, and she's well inside. Meissnitzer's not holding back. She's not resting on her laurels from the first course, but the snow is coming down in bucketfuls. And if we can't see her with a camera, it's uh, she's got precious little chance of seeing the course. This is so impressive. 1.99, the gap is growing all the time. This is a huge lay from Alexandra Meitzinsa. And when a skier is on form like this, then they can ski when the beast is bad, when the weather is bad. Absolutely phenomenal. A huge lead for Alexandra Meitzinsa. Really doing a Hermann Meyer on the women's circuit. Alexandra Meitzinsa takes the win for Austria. Absolutely fantastic. Well, a tremendous run by Meitzinsa. And, uh, well, you've mentioned before that uh, Park City can produce phenomenal results. We've seen it after the first run with start numbers like 64, 48, getting into the second run. And now we've seen it again with Meissnitzer 